Hi everyone, Adrienne here. This is the last part of the plant tour series. These are my plants in the living room. Uh, I will show them to you starting from the left. Here I have a Sansevieria. This plant had many um, smaller um, plants and I removed them, repotted them and after a few months <laughs> they started to grow new plants again. So this is a wonderful Sansevieria, dwarf Sansevieria. I have found that there are four new tiny plants growing here which is amazing and the leaves the leaves of this plant were quite yellowish after some time because I have waited to repot it uh, for such a long time uh, that I think it got a less nutrients but now that I have repotted it um, this spring it's now a lot it looks a lot uh, greener especially the new leaves uh, that it has grown and so these are very nice dark green in color right next to it is my jade plant uh, I have pruned most of my jade plants back uh, in February or March and um, uh, these are the new leaves that it has and it's very it's very nice i like that some of the leaves the new pair of leaves has this hair uh, kind of shape uh, which which is interesting i would like this to grow a bit more and then i am going to prune it again i would like it to have a nice uh, tree like tree like look here are two branches and then i would like it to branch out into two it's there is two here two here again so they need to grow a bit more before before i will prune it again and here are two tiny jade plants these didn't grow from this uh, jade these are uh, different jades i have just planted them here but i think it's time now to uh, report this into its uh, own pot because jades can grow really fast and they have big root system so i i think that this plant here might have a quite a big uh, root system now and I don't want them to get um, attached together or or that this plant to take away the space from the big one or the opposite so it's time to report this this little one now here is the semperimum tector my found and you can now see the new baby plants that it has grown the baby plants look quite rounded now because they are bigger so that's that's very nice there are a few more growing here below the leaves you see here it can't even grow that way i hope it will realize that and grow upwards i am sure it will find its way now here are the plants that I, this is the one that I have beheaded, this is a Pacifitum compactum. There was a cut on the stem of this plant, maybe the head was too heavy and that's why it uh, broke its, its stem somehow as it uh, leaned to the left side. So I beheaded it and um, planted it after that. And it looks like it's it's fine now. That's new growth in the center. It looks a way lot better. I am I am happy that I I beheaded this plant. Here is the echeveria, some kind of echeveria. It has this nice light silvery greenish color. And uh, you know I have removed the smaller plants that were growing on the stem. Uh, those are in the kitchen. You might have seen them in the kitchen plant tour video. 
and since I removed the plants from its stem, it started to grow new ones. Here is one, there is an, another one in the back here, and something is growing here as well. And here is the Pacifito mobifero, the moonstone. This has been blooming, but the bloom just dried out, so I removed it. These are very nice. I, I really like them. You just don't... <laughs> you must be aware not to touch any of its leaves because that's not good for for this plant. Um, here is a sedum. Um, I have repotted this um, because the soil was very compacted and since then <laughs> it's just such such a nice uh, greenery. I, I really like this. I like to play with this plant. It's some kind of sedum. It's very nice. It's small and it grows very quickly. So if you have some area and and you plant uh, just a few like this much and it will just grow over that area very very quickly. Oh, here is my bunny, <laughs> my bunny in the pot. Um, since the last time I showed you how I planted these, I still didn't have this white cactus. I bought this cactus months ago or so, and I decided to plant it here. Um, I really like this one. It's it's just so nice with with these white spikes and that it has a nice very dark green base color I think it's, it just looks so beautiful these two these two are growing because when I planted them there was still more space between those two and, and now there is less space. Oh, I think they got a bit fatter, especially this one. And this is the same echeveria that I have here. It was removed from, from its stem, so this comes from that plant. Here are the other sansaviras, and <laughs> this one is growing new, new ones. There is not so much space in this pot anymore so in the spring i really need to repot this or maybe maybe sooner all right here comes my other jade plants i am not sure if i told you that uh, this jade was ill uh, it was um, overwatered. i got it back from my mother-in-law uh, when it was in a bad shape and i I rescued this plant. I have pruned it back very heavily. I have removed all of its leaves because um, they were basically dead. And since then, uh, it grew new roots because it had none because of the root rot. All the roots died. And um, after it grew some roots, it started to grow leaves. And it's it's healthy and it's it's okay now. Here is my other favorite jade plant. Uh, this plant was a bit thirsty, that's why this leaf is a bit wrinkled. But it will be okay. I must tell you that since this warmer hot weather arrived. Inside uh, my home, it's it's very hot here, and it's a bit challenging to think and focus correctly. Mm. But I will get used to it. So this is one of my favorite jade plant, and this was pruned back, and it doesn't look like it was pruned back. It looks quite quite good. And this has a different uh, branching look than the other one. 
and I like that. <laughs> I like that. It's my favorite. Oh, here, here I have. This is the Dinostigma Tamiana flowering, but that's not what I want to show you. What I would like to show you is this sheet here. I started this as a bonsai kind of experiment. I am saying bonsai kind of because I didn't have a bonsai um, container. I, I've used this plastic container instead. But the soil is mainly these big lava rocks and perlite. And it's growing very slowly, very, very slowly. I was afraid that it would not make it after I pruned back its roots and, and, and everything. I pruned it back hard. But it looks like, okay, it just grows really slowly. I, I saw that it would grow at least a bit faster. Uh, but it, uh, what do you think about it, uh, the shape and the leaves? Of course, this is uh, just an experiment and I only started it uh, in February. So this, would, this will need more time to have a more bonsai look. And of course, I am not sure what I am doing with this. <laughs> to tell you the truth. Okay, here is the Dinostigma Tamiana. It's nice and healthy now. Since it's back to, it got back its original space. It likes to be here and, and it shows me that it likes to be here. Look at all those nice flowers. And these are not the first flowers. This is the second round of flowers this year. It's so nice and green. So these are the plants in my living room. I keep all of them in the window because here they get enough light. I really like these plants. Mm. My favorite cheat plants. <laughs> I love all of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you also for watching the other plant tour videos. I I know they were long and you still watch them. And, and I am very grateful for that. And also thank you so much for requesting this video series from me. I will do it again, maybe half a year later or, or when something changes and it would be nice to show them to you again. <laughs> Have a nice day, thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one. Bye bye!